Hello, this is Brian Casey, Editor-in-Chief of AntMini.com, and we're here at the 2015 edition of the RSNA meeting in Chicago. We have with us right now Dr. Elliot Siegel. He is a Vice Chair of Informatics at the University of Maryland uh, Medical Center and also Chief of Radiology at the Baltimore VA Medical Center. Uh, Dr. Siegel, thanks for being with us today. Sure, my pleasure, Brian. So, uh, recently there have been a lot of headlines about the rise of artificial intelligence in, in healthcare in general and in radiology uh, more specifically. So uh, a lot, this has a lot of radiologists wondering, you know, are, is, is a computer going to be taking my job uh, someday in the future? Um, what are some of your thoughts on this? Well, so uh, I give a lot of talks on um, topics related to artificial intelligence and that's a fairly common question that comes up. And really the bottom line answer is that um, we don't in any way anticipate um, computers being able to perform all the tasks that radiologists do. Computers are really good at detecting patterns, patterns in images, patterns in large amounts of data and information. And so as time goes on, I think we're going to see um, computers and doing tasks that have been considered to be artificial intelligence to really start doing some of the mundane tasks that radiologists have to do over and over again. So um, hanging images on a computer workstation, being able to extract what's important from the electronic medical record, being able to um, extract patterns in images like finding microcalcifications on a mammogram or being able to find lung nodules on a CT scan. A lot of the things that the radiologists see as being repetitious and things that um, they don't like to do over and over again because of the fact that it slows them down and it makes them less efficient. What I really want to be able to do as a radiologist is concentrate more on the tasks that require sort of higher order thinking, common sense. Um, how can I make associations? How can I put information together? And so whether or not it's a radiology resident or fellow or a computer system that's able to um, arrange the images, find out the information that I need to do my job, um, in any of those cases, um, I think artificial intelligence applications are going to be really extraordinarily helpful to making us safer and also making us better radiologists. So bottom line is I don't think in our lifetimes anybody who's at the RSNA meeting is, um, today is going to uh, see computers in any way significantly replace what radiologists do. But on the other hand, I think in the next two to five, ten years or so, that will be really super dependent on computers to make us safer and more effective. And we're already seeing some major advances where computers um, have allowed us to be able to document significant increases in, uh, in radiologist performance and reading time and, and efficiency. And I see that continuing to happen. Now, we, we've had a form of AI and radiology for a number of years now in, in terms of computer-aided detection. Yeah. And in the initial stages of computer-aided detection of CAD, uh, a lot of radiologists were concerned that CAD could be, could be taking jobs, and, and that hasn't happened there. Do you see that as a parallel, or is that something that's a little bit different than what we're, the way we see AI going in the future? Well, so, I, AI, it's not um, really clear exactly what AI is. So many different people use AI in different ways. And so one way that's really exciting for we radiologists is the ability for computers to be able to do um, pattern recognition and detection for diagnosis. But at this point, even though it's been 20 years since we've had some pretty robust CAD programs, we radiologists are really mainly just using it for mammography um, applications to detect masses and microcalcifications. And so there's a significant disconnect at this point between the tremendous research that's being presented on CAD applications and actual practice in radiology. And I think we need to see some fundamental changes in the way that CAD is working. Mm -hmm. One change that I'd really like to see would be to personalize it more to a patient, to have CAD be able to look at prior images and compare it with a current image, which we don't do currently. I'd like to be able to better understand and interact with the CAD program the same way I do with my resident or fellow, and I'm not really able to do now. So what I'm looking forward to is a new generation of CAD programs that are much more interactive and that um, let me know to a much greater extent why the CAD program is selecting something. And again, I as the radiologist am still the one making the decisions, still the ones making the recommendations with the assistance of the uh, CAD software. Yeah. Now, one of the, the best examples right now of, of AI is IBM's Watson project. And you were involved in that uh, pretty early on. Mm -hmm. And uh, that uh, IBM made headlines recently by uh, acquiring 
uh, a PAX vendor, and then also creating uh, Watson Health, yeah. which is a standalone company. So they're really making a big play uh, with Watson in healthcare. Where do you see that project going? Well, so um, this really represents multiple different projects. One project is IBM's effort to do natural language processing, sort of similar to what it did really effectively with Jeopardy. And that project is trying to extract information from the electronic medical record and from large databases to help radiologists and clinicians in general to be able to make a more effective diagnosis and treatment recommendations. But then on the West Coast, there's the Almaden Medical Civ IBM Watson project, which is looking at being able to um, make um, diagnoses from medical images and being able to combine the information from extraction of data from medical images from the West Coast Medical Civ with the natural language processing and big data analytics on the East Coast and a lot of other assets that IBM has, I think should make significant strides with regard to uh, um, our ability to make computers really useful in medicine. You know, we're only really at the prehistoric stage where we're just scratching the surface. And so IBM and many, many other vendors are doing some amazing research on uh, natural language processing and big data analytics, personalized medicine, and also feature extraction for medical images. And I think in near future RSNAs, we're going to be seeing a lot of really cool new developments there. Great, good, very exciting times, a lot to look forward to. Yes, for sure. All right, well thanks for being with us today. Sure, my pleasure. Signing off for AntMini.com, this is Brian Casey.